Hey, what's going on guys? Alan F. Ready here. Today's video, we're gonna be covering how to set up your course, your membership site for your business. So particularly this is made using Kartra. A lot of you guys have been using ClickFunnels. I wanted to showcase what Kartra could do so you guys could see the capabilities and why I use it myself. You can check the links below to see how you could get Kartra and more in-depth uh, footage from them and also content from me. Uh, but right now, let's just go right into this guide. I'm gonna be building out from scratch for one of my clients, Drew Lasker, who is in Trainer's Guide. Um, hopefully you guys have connected with him and leverage Jordan's platform really to communicate with each other and see how you guys can. The way you get there is app.cartra.com. And if you click on the left-hand side, you get my membership. So this is how you can create your access levels and everything that you're going to create. So let's just name this one. For my client, let's call it Fitness Program. And you could always change the name here, but this is what we're going to be using. And then right away, you could see that it's very intuitive, just goes through the links. Um, you could have an external sales page. So we're gonna put drewlasker.com because that's my client, that's what he's building his on. Of course, when you make the sales page, you want to put the content there. So Builder is really where everything is set up. So once you first log in, you have the Membership Builder tutorial. Now basically, you could click through and see everything that you could do for your presentations and for your content. You can really control the looks and feel of Archa. So, Right off the bat, you can see it's just drag and drop. You choose your logo here. Um, so, you know, whatever you wanted to put here, there's multiple things you could do. So if I go to my client's site and we pull his logo, let me just download that really quick. Oh, we see there, Drew Lasker, upload that. And now, Really what you wanna be doing is adding categories. So one of the first categories that he's going to be putting on and that you know you really just drag and drop. But for example, if you have a fitness business and you want to be training a particular thing, for example, if this one was going to be a dunk training series, then this would be the pre-course introduction. And then you would just have several posts that you put here video one welcome to dunk training you want to make this content that you would put for your clients for for them to see now typically what i do here is i would upload videos privately on youtube so take a look here what you do is when you upload videos let's wait for it to load when you go here to upload video you can see here that you can make it private unlisted and scheduled so what I would do is make it unlisted if it's private it won't work for Kartra unlisted makes it available to public but you have to have the link available so when you click YouTube you would simply just upload the video and put it here uh, after you drag the video content, you could have things from, let's just choose a random video, actually. So this is from my personal YouTube. Then I have one for BlendLogic. We can see what happens when we insert it. it. You get content. And then you can put underneath here any text that you want to have, any download box. If there's a PDF that you want your users to have, you can upload the content, so let's put just the logo so they can click and download. Typically what you'd wanna do for this is you'd have worksheets available for your clients. Um, there's a lot you could do here, links, box, divider, audio, playlist, images. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't even have any of this stuff um, you know, to play with, but right here, sidebar content is, is listed here. So, one of the cool things you can do with Kartra is they have a lot of different themes that you can choose. Um, and you know, it's up to your client's preference, but every time you save, you can choose out 
you know exactly what you want to be listing so i'm going to choose this one and let's preview you can see here the content here on the left when they click here they have the video that you just uploaded with content and sidebar content so that looks good we'll save it there and so typically with my clients i actually you know request that they send information or send the, the videos but i'm making this tutorial because some of them actually uh, use this content and put their own they, they want to upload themselves so here you can see what you can put for sidebar content you could if you have multiple people you could upload a banner so let's say you your course involves multiple instructors and you would say this instructor is this person we could put drewlasker.com this would be the banner And I believe it's not working because the max size is too big. Oh, no, it's right there. Perfect. All right, so this video would be changed. You don't necessarily have to have a sidebar content for each person, but it is up to your preference. So let's keep going with the Divi, or not the Divi, excuse me, the Kartra. And we can see here, not sure why that's there. Enable comments. So if you want to have comments for people to leave, I would definitely recommend you have it because um, that way you could build the community up. Membership access level. So this is a tiered membership site that you could have. Um, you don't have to have this for your sites, but let's say you have a VIP version where people are paying extra per month. Then you could, if you had several different contents, several different signups, you could say, you know, pre-course or VIP. You could actually add a sidebar session that's VIP and only have it available for VIP people. And then here you could have, you could set when it unlocks. So if you want people to, you know, get this information, let's say you had a 12-week course and you wanted them to, you know, every week you would release a new module, then you could specifically just put seven intervals of seven so that it releases every week. Um, and here, I mean, you can see Kartra and ClickFunnels, they all are the same. They're very straightforward. Um, but with this content, um, it, it's really just, you know, different configurations that you do. So one of the things that's cool is if you have managed locked posts, if you have some, let's say they, they haven't paid for VIP, they would actually see that the VIP section is available and you could display a post and pop a teaser window or display a post but keep it unclickable. That way, let's say you're building up like a free sample, right? So you have get in for free and then you have content that's available for free at the, that access level. And then if they want to pay, you could put the other content on. So that's the way you could do a trial version, right? So that would be for membership levels. So, you know, standard would technically be the free and then you have paid customers and then VIP and then you could lock your content that way. So that's a cool way to do trials on Kartra um, to make them see what's available. And then again, one of the cool things about Kartra is not, it's not just for memberships. You can actually have landing pages, sell products, stuff of that nature. You can actually have customer support um, if they leave tickets. And it's all integrated with, of course, Kartra, the email service. So you know, it's, it's a one and done shop, one stop shop. And a lot of these things you'll see here is actually gets into uh, the, the advanced targeting that you could do through Kartra. So if someone is a member of, you know, you get assigned tags and this gets into later the e-digital marketing aspect of it. But if I were to quickly explain, essentially what you could do is someone who signs up for your course, you can tag them and no longer send it. You, they, if they have that tag, you will not send them emails about signing up for your course. And there's a lot of things you could do here. Uh, this gets into email marketing. If someone's read your content or read your posts or, or opted in, you could you could have tags for them. And this is just another integration for the course, actually, that you could assign tags to. So the last thing you have to do is link this membership portal to a product. So when you click on products, it takes you to the products on the left side. 
And if we click create new product, then we have, let's see here. We have options to choose main product or upsell, downsell. And the thing you want to be choosing is the main product. So this one is going to be the fitness product digital course. The official name, this could all be changed later. I'm doing this for purposes of showing my client, but also showing you guys watching. Um, and then we keep this private. You have to integrate later with your PayPal account. I will show you guys that. All right, so we're keeping this simple because we want to just go through what it would it takes so let's say this program has a one-time fee of twenty dollars and then you add a VIP program which is actually nine dollars a month and you know with my clients so for example with Drew Lasker what we've been considering making is you have courses for jump or dunk training and then if you wanted to pay for VIP, you would have that personalized for you where you could jump on calls and, uh, you know, have weekly sessions with him. We're still working it out on what we're going to be offering and the price points. But as you can see here, everything is controllable by Kartra. And it all depends on what you have storyboarded or what you have drawn out. And... So once again, everything is set up. We need to make the landing pages still, uh, but if you just simply make sign up pages, everything should be A-OK. -okay. And I'm just putting this in there for the client and we'll have to make the thank you pages. Uh, they don't have to be anything uh, fancy. It just has to you know lead somewhere. Again, you can see here. So what happens when they pay here? If they paid for the fitness program, they get standard. And then the month, the, this is where you said that they get VIP. And so uh, once again, it's in the access, your, your product content that is done there. And one of the cool things is Karch is actually has its own built-in affiliate sales program. So if you were going to want to have people promote your product for you, uh, one of the big things that I've been pushing lately is affiliate sales because a lot of times people, you need to brand with people who have already made products. So one of the ways that if you actually don't have the time to make your own product is to actually just make uh, you know, something that could easily be added on to someone such as you know, a top 10 list or a video review on certain things. Uh, so for example basketball you could add you know a tennis ball drill program have three videos in there or or five videos in there and then add it onto someone who already has reach you know such as jordan lolly and say hey can we throw this in for free and he has an affiliate program and you kind of build your network from there so this is stuff that could also be implemented later in the strategy uh but yeah that is it guys so we go to the membership site the last thing we have to do is create a portal. So this is actually where, this is where people can access the content. So here we have fitness program selected. We go to the logo, choose what it was. And then we have here, We could change the image. We'll put his. These are the stock ones. You could, you could upload your own. We'll just leave this for now. No help desk. We could actually change this link. So we have courses uh, portal. And we're done. So if we check here, courses.portal, you can see here, Drew Lasker Courses. 
Um, and then of course, if we, once we get this more branded, we could have this linked in. You have the login. Everything's all set up through Kartra. Um, and now it's just a mem it's just a matter of building the content out. So that was a quick run through of Kartra, how to start adding courses. It's all done through my membership. We'll have to change, you know, the names and the titles of it. But in essence, you could see how you could restrict content and have several levels that your your potential customers can click through. Now it's a matter of building out content and then repurposing the content so that they have you know, samples or things that they could use to see what's inside. You could always, you know, it always starts with the content creation first. So if you guys are interested in car trends, seeing more videos, you can check out the links below. You can also check out more of my YouTube tutorials and also my own course, the Blend Logic Academy. I'll be linking you guys so you can check out Kartra yourself. And if you do decide to purchase, you can use my affiliate link. Just a disclaimer, I do get a portion of those sales. Uh, but you can click the link below. And if you have any questions, Feel free to ask me questions. Alan F. Ready from Atlanta. I hope you guys enjoy.